you have the power to investigate anything in the universe. So you have the power to also investigate anything that I'm saying to you. But to investigate, it's going to require a completely open mind and open heart on your behalf. Right? So I can make some statements of things that I've already investigated and found out, and I know that I know to be true. But my stating them won't, you won't feel they're true until you investigate them. Does that make sense? And I'm, all I'm doing is saying to you what I know to be true. Now, the reason why I state it so firmly is because I know it firmly. I know that it's truth. But, and I understand that a lot of times that, come, that can come across as, like, I know truth or whatever. It might come across badly, but I'm just stating the truth. That's the way I see it. Um, and that's my role. Does that make sense? My, my desire is just to state the truth as it is. Now, I've talked to spirits who are around, say, Martha, and talk to people who have met him, and also investigated through the connections with spirits on the divine love path, what's going on with him. Does that make sense? And the total, tap, the totality of that investigation is that there is a six-year spirit who has been connected to say, Martha since the time of, since the time he was in his mother's womb and who has kept that connection with Say Baba all this time. The problem for Say Baba is that his soul condition when he passes is going to be into the first sphere. And he will feel that when he passes. Does that make sense? At the moment, it's like a fictitious condition in the sense that the six sphere spirit is so heavily influencing him that, that he believes himself also to be in that. Does that make sense? And the problem with that is that when he passes, he will go into the first fear condition, and then he will have to work out why there's this discrepancy. Right? And by the way, this is happening not just with that man, but also with many, many others who are calling themselves avatars on Earth. The majority of them are actually connected with, very strongly with spirits on the natural love path who are willing to do this for what they see to be the benefit of the human race. Well, I thought you couldn't, you couldn't incarnate until you got to number 22. Yep. Or they're just impressed in there. Yes, he, Saibaba, believes himself to be an incarnation, a reincarnation. But in reality, there is a connection just with the spirit going on. And there is no, has been no reincarnation for him. He has, he is not a reincarnated soul. Well, who is that spirit he's connected with? Oh, I don't know the spirit's name. They don't have names in the six spirit Well, that spirit must be elevated. And um, well, he's in the six sphere condition, which is the highest possible condition you can be in without connecting to divine love. So he is in a very good condition. The spirit is but he's willing to sacrifice Say Baba's free will to maintain the connection. And many six-fear spirits are willing to do this. Does 